if you go throughout any other area in Austin, there's murals all throughout it. And really, there aren't that many here in North Austin until now. I think to transform our neighborhood, we have to like grow in trust and just get to know each other. And I think that communal art is a great way to get to know your neighbor. I started off doing just Beauty Will Save the World in black and white. Just the lettering, knowing that it would be tagged. Um, and the people who tagged it ended up, they just, it was, it was too perfect. So the idea is to include the first round of taggers because they're part of this neighborhood too. That was looking so good. Part of me wants to cut in like a triangle. Uh-huh. But I don't know. I live really close by. So when Rigel last year painted Beauty Will Save the World in white and black, it was like an open invitation to me. You know, he was like, yeah, come on, let's do this. We have a design, but it always changes once you get here, so, and we're very open about how it changes, and, and it usually comes out uh, better, I think. You know, because you can meticulously paint a little painting for a long time if you want to, or you can do something sort of spontaneous and fast and, and collaborative and fun. That's the best part, you know? People just coming up and wanting to work on it uh, randomly, they pick up a brush and start working, and they tell us their story, and, and then we never see them again. I think we just wanted to do one mural, and that was it. And uh, the response from the neighborhood was so uh, affirmative that we wanted to do more of that. I'm getting to know the neighbors. I've been here for a couple years, and pretty much everyone's totally on board. I love it. It's just so cool. It's been such a difference in the neighborhood. Right now, I'm just interested in trying to get this whole stretch from Cooper down to Carpenter. I think there's like 14 or 15 houses. Um, and just make this stretch of the road like awesome. Rock and roll. Thank you. Love that guy. He was, they were driving by and they were like, we love you guys! It was awesome. <laughs> it's our fans, you know? We have fans. Since there's so many different cultures in this area and more than anywhere else in Austin, we've been calling it the International District because that's what it pretty much is. That's where we got the idea to use the same statement and just translate it into 14 different, 15 different languages, including English. I mean, assuming we get to do all the fences. So we, we got Spanish, you know, it's a no-brainer, obviously. Vietnamese is the next one. And then there's Croatian. There's actually uh, Croatian immigrants that live in that house. And we're like, this is a good starting point. As people are passing by, they get a glimpse and maybe it makes them feel better. And they're very happy to, to have that in their neighborhood, you know, representing their culture. It's odd that it's right on Lamar, but uh, this is what people have. And we're using art as a vehicle to, to make it so that people see the, the beauty in their own neighborhood. We have the opportunity to have more of an impact on people's perceptions of our neighborhood. This neighborhood has a stigma, but I think there's a lot of beauty here. I think there's a lot of creativity. You know, the difference between these walls being just fences and these walls being painted with murals is, is huge. You know, I think people really respond to them. They're having a connection to the neighborhood that's different than what it was before. It was just boring and no nobody cared. This isn't ever going to be a finished product. You know, I, I see graffiti artists, like, if they want to come in and do graffiti art, they'll get incorporated and then kind of, like, assumed into the, into the greater vision. <laughs>